A Tasmanian devil is a carnivorous marsupial. In fact, it's the largest living carnivorous marsupial in the world. It's the top predator of Tasmania. And as a specialized scavenger, also has a recycling job, which is to clear all the dead animals that are in the landscape. So it has a very important ecological role in keeping the uh, ecosystem in a good balance. Tasmanian devils are solitary, strictly speaking. They don't live in, in groups or in family groups, but despite that, they're quite social. Quite social, but they're not that friendly to each other. Um, so they can be quite aggressive uh, when uh, having disputes over meat, for example, over food. So, yeah, growling and biting is part of a normal Tasmanian devil's life. The Tasmanian devil's affected by a very horrible um, uh, disease called devil facial tumour disease. And this disease is characterised by large cancerous lesions that form around the face and the neck of the affected devils. Um, the disease kills the devils uh, very quickly and it's thought to have 100% mortality. Um, so it's had a, a devastating effect on the population. Devil facial tumour disease is uh, a very strange and bizarre new type of cancer which has arisen recently in the Tasmanian devil population. It's actually a cancer which is transmissible, so it can be spread between devils. These tumours were first seen by a wildlife photographer in the far northeast of Tasmania in 1996. The disease turned up at my long-term study site on the Freycinet Peninsula on the east coast of Tasmania in 2001. Within 12 months of seeing the disease at my study site, I realised that it was both spreading and it was causing major population decline.